It was the catch of a lifetime. Commercial fisherman Carlos Rafael and his crew caught an 881-pound bluefin tuna off the coast of Massachusetts. But when they docked, the federal government took the fish that could have been worth thousands of dollars. And joining us right now is fisherman and owner of Carlos Seafood, Carlos Rafael, up in Boston. Carlos, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so November the 12th, you get a call from your crew. We've got an 881-pound bluefin tuna. I know, you know one was sold a while back in Japan for over $300,000 at that size, so you've got to be seeing dollar signs in your eyes. You go to meet the boat at the dock, and you'd already called the uh, appropriate officials. What happened next? When we back the truck into Providence Town to haul the fish back into New Bedford so it could be sold, it was an agent over there, <clears throat> and he asked what we had, uh, what did we have in uh, in board of the boat, and we told him we got ground fish, and also the captain was so proud, and I got a big bluefin tuna. So the agent started looking at him. He says, "What do you mean you got a bluefin tuna?" He says, "Yes, I do, and I have the permits to be able to catch tuna." So. I bought permits for every one of my vessels for the past three years. We figured one of these days we would catch the big one. So we cut the big one, and I guess <laughs> we had to give it to the government. Oh, that's just so crazy. So the, gover the feds there at the dock said because you didn't catch it with a rod and reel and you caught it with a net, you had to give it up. Now, every time you went to buy one of your uh, tuna permits, and I understand you bought 15 through the years, did anybody ever tell you, hey, Carlos, if you catch a tuna, you got to do it with a rod and reel, not a net? No, I was never told of that. Oh, man. But the government will tell you, you're supposed to know. I mean, I'm supposed to know everything. I mean, if I was to know all the laws of the land, I'll spend all my time just reading the laws of every law that's been put in the books. Yeah. Well, here's what uh, the federal government said to the Cape Cod Times up there. The matter is still under investigation. If it's determined that there has been a violation, the money will go into the asset forfeiture fund. Okay, so the, the tuna has been sold for uh, around $5,000. How much of that money are you going to get, Carlos? None. I oh. have to give it all to the government. And uh, the, one of the federal agents came to my office a couple of days ago, and they gave me a warning. I mean, uh, at least they were good enough. They didn't give me a fine. I could have got a fine right. for 10000 or 20000 sure. Only God knows how much they could have fined me for. That's because this is a regulation nation. That just seems so unfair. Well, Carlos, thank you very much for getting up early there in Boston and telling us your story. That is crazy. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Happy fishing.